Two years ago, Jason Kels announced he was returning to the Eagles by tapping a keg of beer that head coach Nick Sirianni got for him as an incentive to not retire. Last year, Kels announced his return on an Instagram post, which he ended by saying, Thank you to all my supporters and detractors for fueling me. I ain't expletive done yet. So what will it be this year? Had announcement in a mummer's costume, the Luckhater mask he wore at the Chiefs Super Bowl party, a shirtless dive onto a collapsible tubble. In the previous two instances, Kels made his decision on March 10 and March 13, respectively, just a few days before the start of the NFL's new league year. That's when teams have to be compliant with the salary cap and when they can start pursuing free agents. This year, the new season begins on March 13. Suffice it to say, the Eagles would like a decision sooner than that, perhaps by the time general manager Howie Roseman and staff head to the NFL scouting combine next week in Indianapolis. After all, a Kels decision will set off a chain reaction for the Eagles, no matter what he decides. Here's a look at how, what we know about Jason Kels's retirement decision. Kels appears closer to retirement than ever before, and not just because he's 36 years old and has contemplated retirement during each of the last five off-seasons. Kels reportedly told teammates after the Eagles' 32-9 loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFC wildcard playoff game that he was going to retire, only to say two days later on his podcast that he hasn't made up his mind yet. Kelst refused to talk about it the last time he spoke to the media on January 17. But in the five weeks since then, we have seen Kelst travel with his brother, Chiefs tight end Travis Kelst, during the Chiefs' Super Bowl run. There was Kelst shirtless in the bitter cold in Buffalo. There was Kelst wearing Chiefs overalls at the Super Bowl. More OFFANSE, Eagles only mock draft, even with defense needs. Why birds should go a fence in rounds one, too. H-A-A-S-O-N-G-O-N-E. How Eagles are showing they don't want Haas and Reddick back, even if they can't trade him. And there were reports that Kels was meeting with TV executives for a possible analyst position. Kels had done that last offseason, too, saying he was preparing for a post-football life. Is Jason Kels' retirement decision coming soon? how it affects Eagles' entire off-season. Martin Frank, Delaware News Journal. Two years ago, Jason Kels announced he was returning to the Eagles by tapping a keg of beer that head coach Nick Sirianni thought for him as an incentive to not retire. Last year, Kels announced his return on an Instagram post, which he ended by saying, Thank you to all my supporters and detractors for fueling me. I ain't expletive, done yet. So what will it be this year? An announcement in a mummer's costume. The Luckhater mask he wore at the Chiefs' Super Bowl party. A shirtless dive onto a collapsible table. In the previous two instances, Kels made his decision on March 10 and March 13, respectively, just a few days before the start of the NFL's new league year. That's when teams have to be compliant with the salary cap and when they can start pursuing free agents. This year, the new season begins on March 13. Suffice it to say, the Eagles would like a decision sooner than that, perhaps by the time general manager Howie Roseman and staff head to the NFL scouting combine next week in Indianapolis. After all, a Kels decision will set off a chain reaction for the Eagles, no matter what he decides. Here's a look at how. Philadelphia Eagles center Jason Kels, 62, walks to the team bench for the second half during an NFL wildcard playoff game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Monday, January 15, 2024 in Tampa, FLA. What we know about Jason Kels's retirement decision. Kels appears closer to retirement than ever before, and not just because he's 36 years old, and has contemplated retirement during each of the last five off-seasons. 
Kels reportedly told teammates after the Eagles' 32-9 loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFC wildcard playoff game that he was going to retire, only to say two days later on his podcast that he hasn't made up his mind yet. Kels refused to talk about it the last time he spoke to the media on January 17. But in the five weeks since then, we have seen Kels travel with his brother, Chiefs tight end Travis Kels, during the Chiefs' Super Bowl run. In addition, the Eagles can save $13 million by releasing veteran safety Kevin Viard. And they might have to release other players, James Bradbury, Avante Maddox, and restructure some contracts, Josh Sweat, Jordan Melata, to save even more. It's certainly doable if Kels returns, but the sooner the Eagles know, the sooner they can plan for free agency in the draft. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jaxie in 24. Thank you for watching.